bottom of the city. It wasn't until the 1800s that you didn't have any farms left in places like Flatbush and, in, and lands north of what is today Central Park. Hudson County provided a lot of New York City's produce until the needs of a growing population required the transforming of farmlands to residences. Out here, there wasn't much residence building going on, but when the farms moved away, no one thought to let the water back in and let the wetlands soak up the water again. So what was left by to the end of the Second World War was thousands of acres of former wetlands that were also former farms that had just kind of gone to seed. By the end of the Second World War, 21,000 acres of open space was still out here. Fortunately, the fact that so much of it had been filled in, had been drained, made it easier for land speculators and developers to come in and completely change the landscape. Tens of thousands of acres of wetlands into what is today tens of thousands of acres of, well, what you took the train over to see and what you see around you now. 